Hey, I'm Safira, third culture kid with three TCKs of my own. We're moving homes again, this time from Singapore to Muscat. Follow along as we eat, cook, and explore. Welcome to the Confused Kitchen. Hi, welcome. I'm driving and I have the camera on its side for the first time. I've been wanting to do this for a while, except I haven't had the time or the bandwidth. So many things have been going on. So we'll learn as we go and hopefully I can um, show you a little bit more of what's about to happen. So we're leaving. I am leaving with uh, my husband. He's got, his job has asked him to go away for a couple of years. And of course we become uh, the trailing, the trailing spouse, the trailing children. And we are going back into that expat life. Uh, I go back into my, my kids and I go back into our uh, third culture kid life and we'll probably feel quite a lot more comfortable uh, in that environment so that's really exciting for us uh, and we leave uh, next month so it's kind of sad to go because you know there are a lot of things that we have to leave behind my awesome sauce work and uh, the kids have their friends you know and then their routine and in fact the youngest one this is his first time being away so it's quite um, unnerving for him He's a little apprehensive. He doesn't have any memory of having done this before, although he was born somewhere else. So we have about a month to go. And in fact, the surveyor came today to have a look at our stuff, to give us a rough estimate of whether we're within our limit. We are given a limit of how much we get to bring because obviously my camera is a bit wonky. Um, my husband's work is going to be funding most of the move. Uh, so we have to be within that limit unless we are willing to pay for it ourselves. My camera's really going wonky, it keeps slipping. So he's come around, the surveyor, and he said that we're actually, he's estimating that we're about 28% over our limit. So that's gonna be another stress point. Uh, I have actually been decluttering for the last six months. We have to purge and organize our things. Um, and it takes that long from my experience of doing this so so many times it does take about six months or so up to a year because there are things going on apart from just decluttering and purging and culling and organizing you still got the rest of your life to see to whilst that's going on so it does take a fair amount of time and so if you do find yourself doing this relocating to another country give yourself a lot of time uh, we've settled the school the kids uh, have already, you know, we've registered them for the school abroad. They're very excited to go back uh, to that environment, something that's familiar to them. And I can understand that, um, that excitement because that's where you kind of feel comfortable. You don't have to pretend like you're something else. You can talk about your story without worrying that people think you're showing off. You know, you can speak in whatever way you want and nobody really questions you, you're acceptable as a foreign person. You know, you're a, you're a foreign person in a foreign land. Rather than being a foreign local in your own land, it's very confusing. Uh, we're actually on the way to the airport to go and pick up my husband because he's been in the country. So we're going to Muscat. So Muscat is the capital city of Oman. Uh, we've been in another country in the Middle East and it, was, it had its own set of challenges as most countries do. Uh, Oman, not a lot of people know about it, so I really would love to share with you not just the moves as we are discovering it, I will discover it along with you and that's kind of what I want to do. So hopefully I can get this camera thing to work a little bit better. Uh, do I want a lav mic or do I want a directional mic? We're in a Middle Eastern country. We have to be quite sensitive about cameras. Uh, we can figure this out as we go along, we can do it together. We are moving to a country, we're not going on a holiday. Uh, I have now, I have to figure out things like supermarket, I have to figure out like, you know, detergents, grocery items, the uniform, oh my goodness. The car, I won't be driving on this side, I'll probably, you'll be seeing me driving on that side. That Even things like, um, you know, bed sheets. I mean, we need to stay in our house until the day we leave, so I will not have time to go to storage. Uh, to put it, you know, you need to wash it before you store it away. That's not going to happen. So things like that we have to plan in advance. That's the logistical side of it. At the end of the day, we know that this is temporary. Uh, we're going to enjoy it as much as we can. We'll come back and the kids will have to go eventually back into our school system. In fact, I think we get a lot of um, challenge trying to move back into and re-adapt into our old life. I think in any lifestyle, 
well, there are pros and cons, and this is no different. I went through it as a child, so maybe I can share some experience with you. And uh, if there's anything at all you want to ask, please ask. And if you're enjoying the content so far, I cannot believe I am saying that. I am 41, and I'm saying if you like the content, consider subscribing. I need to get a better camera, and I need to get better audio um, equipment. Thank you. This is episode, I don't know, maybe the first one. All right, I need to drive like a human being, like a normal human being. I'll see you around.